hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will be watching how to use ajax in asp.net mvc so uh, we all must have uh, some confusion about how to send parameters while using ajax because there are different ways of using ajax so we will be watching few different methods of using ajax so as you all know ajax is asynchronous javascript and xml so basically it will help us to save data or send data to controller without refreshing the page so we will be using ajax for that purpose so here we are have dummy project created here so we have used three fields uh, for uh, which the data we have to send the send to the controller so we have five different um, buttons here with calling different methods for posting the data so we will be watching first method from the beginning so this is the first method we will be using so the first way of using ajax is we can use the json format to add all the parameters you want to post on the controller you have to add the url where you want to post the data so uh, by this URL we mean that we want to post the data on home controller and ajax method so we will see where we have this method so here you can see we have written the home controller and this is the ajax method we are targeting now so here you have to remember that the parameters you are using here must be same which you are sending via json format so if there will be any difference in the name then you won't see any data reaching here so you have to remember this first of all this is the url and then you have to remember this is the data you have to send so this is the success method which uh, whenever ajax is completed successfully it will return in this method response will be the data that is returned from the controller side so if we are returning anything from here then you can get that in the response so we are just sending the same data back so we have used response.amp name which is employee name because we have amp name over here so this is the same data which uh, we are getting we are posting the same back so if ajax fail in uh, some scenario then it will be returning in failure or error method so you can check what is failing that so this is the first method we have used so we will check by running it so i will just put a breakpoint over the action it is already there so we will enter the data we will add test in the name and we can enter any salary so we will click on the first button and you can see it has hit it here and amp id is 65 amp name is test and amp salary is which we have written in the input boxes so this is how the data is traveling in the first method we have to write the json syntax here in the key value format and just the url where we want to hit that so this is the first method uh, similarly we will be watching about the second method so second method is almost the same but the format of sending the data will be changed so in the last method we have seen we have used json format but that format is quite complicated as you can miss out some inverted commas here and there so this format is slightly better as it comes to syntax however you don't have to change many things apart from that you can use the same variables which you have passed in the action so i will show you this again so you can see amp id is here and the same parameter is here and it just have we have removed some extra inverted commas which we have used in last method however url is the same and almost everything is same like the previous one so we will see if this works we can use same data and click on the second button and you can see we have got the hit here with the data so same, same data we have got this time 
so you can see this method also works now about the third method uh, in some case we all wanted in some case we all wanted to use objects uh, uh, in controllers so if you are adding a large amount of data we can't add multiple parameters over here in the line so we sometimes create uh, classes as uh, and use them as parameters as you can see here we have used a class person model and uh, we can see we have three properties over here uh, for the input boxes so now we will see if we can post data directly to this model so we can save a few parameters as we, it gets uh, tough to manage multiple parameters if we have large data so uh, remember here that the name you used sorry I got a bit mistake about this uh, third method so in this method we want to be using model that is our next method so in this method we will be sending all the data in a single parameter and uh, it will be in JSON format so we will use a JSON decilizer for that to convert that into the object so it want to get directly to the object uh, it will be in JSON format and we have to convert it to the object so we will see how it works so you can see in the parameter we have the JSON format which is written from there and how you got this JSON format is using this json.stringify method which is just converting the object in the JSON format and sending to the query filter parameter so basically you have got the JSON here and the JSON convert.dclat object is just converting the JSON back to a object and if we get ahead we can see the data we have got in the object here so this is the third method however the next method is a more simpler one than this one so we will see the next one so in this uh, we will be skipping the extra step of using decilizer which we have used in previous step so we will be creating a jquery object and we have to stringify it to send to the controller so this method you have to follow uh, so we have done the stringify and added the object to the data property so uh, here on the other side we will get the data in the model directly so you can see the properties here are the same which we have in the model here and the name must be same which we are sending so personal model here and personal model must be here it, then you can get the data so we will see by clicking the fourth button over here and you can see all the data is here so this is um, this is the most useful when it comes to the to saving the large data uh, in a single click so this is a better way of doing this so nothing much changes the URL will be same only the data will be changed as you have to first create a object with the same property that you have on the C-sharp side and then you have to stringify it for sending back to the controller so this is the fourth method so the last one is a more special one as you can see in previous methods we have showed you some methods for which you will need different parameters and uh, for some you will need a model but uh, the ajax code keeps changing so we have to change the way of writing parameters uh, to make them work but the last method is a simpler one and it can post data in both ways it can send data to the uh, different parameters method or it can send data to the model method and with the same code you don't have to change many things about it so uh, this is a this is a common method that I keep using 
for posting data so it basically says uh, it basically says ajax data promise so why i have used promises because uh, sometimes you have to wait for the response before executing next line because you have to wait for next lines to execute so for that purpose we must know whenever the next can whenever the previous ajax call is completed so we will use promise for that, that purpose so i will see how i will show you how i have used this so basically this method only needs to needs two parameter one is the url and the other is the data object so you can see we have used it here so at first i have used the method i have passed the url over here you can write the url simply home slash ajax method and here it is the object which we are sending to the controller so this is almost like the previous one method but the previous one once won't be able to uh, send data to all types of parameters like these are the separate and these are the model types so um, by using this method you can use promise which we have written from here you can use promise turn method to verify that it reaches here whenever the ajax is completed so you can use your next lines of code over here so that you will know that uh, you will reach here whenever the ajax call is completed so this method can send data to uh, any object or simple parameter so this is how you can use ajax in asp.net mvc or even uh, you can use same methods in aspx also with the slight changes in the c sharp code so this is how you can do that and uh, in our next video we will be watching how to post files from view to the controller because sending files using uh, ajax is uh, a complicated task whenever it comes to ajax so we will see that in our next video and if you got any issues you can uh, go to our web portal and here you can check other programming blogs as well and you can comment here on the blogs so go check it out and if you got any issues comment on the videos over there or the blogs over there you will get the same blog in the written version also so you can check that out so the next blog will be about how to post files from view to the controller so for now thanks guys and we will see right back